Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across a virus scan failed error message on your Google Chrome web browser. So if you're attempting to download a file and it's not letting you, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and slot run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and slot yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to it a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. So go ahead and double click on that. So go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to double click on the Windows folder. So scroll down. and double click on that and it should be a current version folder double click on it policies go down to that double click on it and now there should be an attachments folder just go ahead and left click on that one time if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path that's up at the top of the screen here each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point you want to locate a value on the right side that says scan with antivirus double click on it Set the value data to 1, so delete whatever is in there, type the number 1, select OK. Once you're done with that, you can close out of here, and we will need to restart our computer. So there you go, guys. It should hopefully have been a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.